interrupt your regularly scheduled programming for a little detour. A little? A big detour. Oh man, guys, we have a lot to catch up on. So, we are at our hotel near Park Asterix. Which sounds great. But we didn't book this place. We did not. We ended up getting in at four in the morning last night. It was awesome. Basically our flight out of Marrakesh, like the plane that was incoming for us to get on, was grounded in Casablanca because of storms. Well, there was no storm, so I don't know what that was about. I'm sure there were some. Okay. Anyway, so the flight was delayed like four hours. We were originally supposed to arrive at 11 p.m. So like, that was already bad. And we're like, all right, great. We're gonna be so tired, like for Park Asterix today. However, the airport that we were supposed to land at, which is where our hotel, our rental car for the next two weeks, all of that was booked there. And they're like, oh, well that airport's closed now, so we're actually gonna send you guys to a different one. So we're at CVG. Yeah, we were originally supposed to go to ORY, which is south of Paris. An hour away. Now we're north of Paris. So that's great for being close to Park Asterix, but now we don't have a rental car. They yeah. literally told us like right as we were about to take off too. They were like, oh yeah, we're landing over here. Clear for takeoff. We, we we're, were like, like what? I like scrambled. Park. I booked this place like right before we took off. Like thank goodness it was the last one, one the and it was still expensive, but the others were way worse. And so like, we are like exhausted. It's like 11 a.m., which it sounds late, but we only got like five hours of sleep. You go to bed at four in the morning. Yeah, yeah. so uh, we're gonna have a half day at Park Asterix today, Yay. which is not what we wanted, but we decided to uh, make up for it and we are can we're, we're canceling one of our sightseeing days in Paris later. And so we're gonna come back to Park Asterix. So we have a day and a half. But we're gonna ride to Tatis. Yes, so we're still gonna get to do that. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go and enjoy the park and then we are going to borrow our friend's rental car who are currently at Park Asterix and we are going to drive an hour to ORY, pick up our rental car like 12 hours late and then drive back to Park Asterix. There you go guys, gonna sometimes be, traveling doesn't yeah. go smoothly. It's one of those days. After a short like seven minute ride in an Uber, we're walking up. And we got our suitcases. Hey, this feels familiar. I, this is not exactly what we did after we dropped Matt off at the airport last time. Yeah, I mean, so the funny thing is that it wasn't supposed to be this way, but here we are. Here we are. Hey, look who it is. Who that? Do you know anything about Asterix? Nope. To be fair, we didn't really know much either, but I think everyone in the comments made sure to educate us last time we were here. So. I still feel like I don't know enough though. We know more than we did Thank last you. time. Look who it is! Hello, hey. it's me, Mario. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> hey, you've been here for a couple hours. This is your first time here. First time at the park. First impression is very nice. Operations are great. The park is pretty crowded, but we, like we've done like almost everything in like what, two hours, so. That's really good. Yeah. But you have not done two tattoos yet. Not yet, because it was a very long line. <laughs> Gee, so what's been your favorite so far? Um, we haven't done zoos, we haven't done Pegas, and we haven't done Tutatis. So but you did Osiris, probably. But I did Osiris, so my favorite right now is Osiris. Um, very impressed, like intense, smooth, like very fun. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited for, I'm actually really excited for Zeus. Yeah, um, I love it. I know a lot of the yeah. Europeans do not, so. <laughs> but you like rough rides. You'll be I like, like rough coasters. So you'll like good. it. We're good. <laughs> Of course, we're walking straight towards Tutatis. Look who we found along the way, Jeremy's here! Hey, you've never been to this park either. First time, and I'm very impressed. Right? Isn't I, it awesome? All well done, the theming's really good. I don't know the cartoons, but I get it. Yeah. I get the theme. And how about those operations? Operations are like Cedar Point, but in France. It's, it's, it's really good. They're Next, so fast. Like three or four trains on every roller coaster, and they're quick. And they pair people up, and it's really nice. This plaza is literally incredible. It feels like you're in like a little village and there's like a festival going on. Like every single inch of this plaza is themed. Look at like the rock work everywhere. They did not skimp out on theming at all. And there is the sign and it is absolutely gorgeous. And the wait is absurd. Thank God for Skip the Lines. 
So for Tutatis, they do offer Skip the Line, that's their Filet-O-Matic system, which we do have for today. There is also a Singer Rider line, although today, for some reason, is not open, which is a little strange. You, really busy. Yeah, maybe. Uh, for filet if you don't pay for the full day, you can also pay to skip the line once, which is 10 euros for a one-time use. And right now, it's about an 80-minute line. And after scanning our skip line, it brought us straight up into the station. We're like in a cave. It's I so know. Cool. Dude, this station is like incredible looking. We're taking the last two rows and it broke down. Apparently it's been breaking down all day, so this isn't that uncommon. It seems like they have like maintenance guys that are just sitting there like waiting for this to break down. It literally went down and less than a 30 seconds later they're here. So like they're just waiting for this one. It's like like <laughs> back open. Look at this station, man. This is incredible. That is so freaking cool. Beautiful trains, too. We're next. Jeremy, you ready? I'm so, I've really been waiting for this for like, it feels like 10 years. I know, they announced in 2018. It feels like forever ago, so it's weird to actually like be in this moment right now. I totally agree. I remember when this thing was announced and oh, I'm stoked. It looks better than I could have even imagined. It's what do you think? so good. I'm excited. just did our first rise on to Tetis. Yee! That was a lot of fun. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Yeah, it's a fun ride. It has obviously a lot of similarities to Pantheon because the yeah. whole beginning is essentially the same. Yeah. Um, the drop on Pantheon is better because this one has a trim. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know about. Not a hold like Batman, but a trim where halfway down the drop it slows you down. Um, but there, there's a big airtime hill yes. after the top hat that's really, really good. It's very good. And, and an inversion that like totally whips you. Yes, it's like a, like, take like most source roll but like scale it back a lot. But it has <laughs> a similar sensation, I guess. Um, it has the same kind of like outer bank that Pantheon has that doesn't really do anything. And I'm kind of yeah. like, okay, let, it, let that be the last time we do that element. It doesn't really work. It works on like RMCs. It does not work. Yeah, I, I think it works when it's like a bit like whippier, when the yeah. entrance and exit is a bit more sudden. Yeah, so to me it just kind of slows the ride It's down. a little bit more drawn out, so. Um, but the way I described it before was like, it has a, like a lot of similar elements to Pantheon, but it also has a few that are better. Yeah. Um, so I would say overall I would take two times. Yeah, well and the themed experience, like it, it just presentation well, that, is phenomenal. Right. Just like overall really, really well they done. They could have done a third of what they did and it would be like, the theme would be a, a thousand times better than Pantheon. Yeah. I'm so sorry Pantheon. Matt, what'd you think? Tutatis? Yeah. Tutatis was très bon. Is your name Matt? I'm oh, getting to you. Oh! Oh okay. my god. <laughs> Zip it. <laughs> no, Tutatis was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. I do think I do think Gotham City Escape was a little bit better, but Tutatis was fantastic. The layout was a lot longer than I expected. I agree. I wasn't expect I haven't I didn't watch the POV, so I didn't know what to expect. Yeah. Um but I think it was better than Pantheon, and it took all of its elements really well and pretty gracefully. All right, August, you're out of timeout. What do you think of Tutetis? It's my time. <laughs> I don't oh. speak French. <laughs> no, I liked it. I thought it was like an upgraded Pantheon. I still feel like what Sarah said, like the drop on or like the top hat on Pantheon was better. I think, maybe I'm not remembering it well, but I think the launch and the air time on the launch on Pantheon was a little strong. I actually agree, I was gonna mention yeah. that. I agree as well. It was more aggressive on Pantheon. This was just a little more graceful. Yeah, which, yeah. Which, which it, really it feels mind. a little more spread out, the air time hill, but it was still very fun. I fun fact, this ride was announced before yeah. Pantheon was announced. I, I've, been, I've been pushing off like, coming to this park for so long because I was like, oh, new coaster, okay, I'll wait. Oh, wait, and yeah. It's, like, it's been like, I'll wait. So I'll wait. long. Yeah, I think it's everything that Pantheon should have been. The theming's good. It, it has an amazing layout. The theming's really good. And I just think overall, it doesn't feel like a mistake, which is good. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> How you really feel about Somebody Pantheon. Somebody called the police. Pantheon is garbage. I'm so glad this is not French Pantheon. It's like French philosophy to me. Whoa, really I, don't know about I love how this like 
the, the Tutata's review has turned into like a a roast. Yeah. I knew it would. I feel like that was a given. <laughs> Since the line for Tutatus is so long and we can't do it again, we're gonna go do Pegasus Express in the Greece section here. I love the theming. I would love to see a land like this at Bush Gardens. If they ever did an expansion where they added a new country, I think Greece would just be amazing. I love what they did with the architecture here. I'm so excited to ride this one. I love this ride. Yeah, it was so good last time. This was like the ride that made me like, okay, maybe I'm being a little harsh on so. <laughs> Ah, and we just did Yippee in Colombia not even that long ago, and I remember this is even better. So yeah, yeah, this is probably the best of the Gerstler family coasters. Really cool station as well. I like what they did here with the columns and whatnot. Matt, how was that water ride? Besides the water effects, <laughs> that Gerslauer surprisingly actually wasn't trash. Mm. Um, the layout was awesome, and the launches for being a family coaster were actually pretty cool. Yeah, it has some punch to it. Yeah, and I overall I, I enjoyed it. It was fun. I I won it. <laughs> it was so funny. We were literally like getting ready to go into the the tunnel, and I was like, wait, Taylor. I think I remember there's spraying water in here. I didn't know there would be water effects, but I survived. I'm a trooper. I made it. I made it. But, that is um, a top tier family coaster, yeah. Oh, oh, fantastic. Yeah, 100%. That ride is a top tier family coaster. Why have I never noticed this flat ride right here? Look at this. That's so cool. I love the detail. That's a lot of dragons. Or is it just one big dragon? I think it's eight heads on one ball of dragons. That's called a Hydra. Oh. The Revenge? Hydra the Revenge. So we did the zero bobsled, which is um, very Unique. strong with the brakes. The brakes are like so like every too, single time. Like I way. would say the brakes only really hit like right towards the end, but overall yeah. that ride uh, has uh, no pacing issues at all. None. <laughs> it's an no interesting pacing. ride experience. Here he is, Zeus, the man himself. Oh wait, I can't walk under his panties right now. I know, the lion is preventing us from walking under this man's legs. Terrible. How rude. We're in Zeus's station and here's an exciting change. The backwards car is now free. So, you can just ride it and you don't have to pay. This is your first ride, right? First ride? I don't know the layout either. Yeah, I don't that even makes know. it so much better. I don't even know the layout to this, so it's going to be like, Wee! You guys are going to love it. It's so good. This was last year our favorite or like second favorite experience in all of Europe. Yeah, like on a roller coaster. It, it's amazing. Not to overhype it. this train? Yeah, same train. Bye, friends. Isn't it so good? I don't know where we're going. I'm like, okay. You don't, okay. you don't know how big the drop is going backwards. So, like, you don't know when it's going to end. It's, it's, it's like a so surprise. Good. The backward seat on Tenere to Zeus will forever be the best place to ride that roller coaster. It's incredible. Yeah, I mean, I've only done it backwards, but <laughs> <laughs> you don't know where you're going. You don't know if it's like an airtime hole or a turn or whatever. So I don't think I've ever experienced something like that where I'm like, I really do not know like what is going to go next. People sometimes complain it's like rough. It has that woody like shuffliness and I don't mind that at all. So I, I thought it was like great, really fun. No, I, I totally agree. Matt, what would you think? I'm in the same boat. I had no idea what the layout was gonna be, so going through it my first time backwards, all the drops felt like they just kept going and just not knowing where I was going. Very spooky, yeah. I, it was a little rough, but it was just, it, it was a wooden coaster, so like, what can you expect from that? Um, yeah. Overall, the tunnels were really cool. I didn't see them coming, so overall, it was a fantastic ride. I loved it. I don't know if we already said this when we were in Australia, but I think that the reason that the backward seat on this works better than Leviathan is because this coast is very airtime centric. Like it's yes. like 17 million just bunny hills. Yeah, and Leviathan is not. That's more like bank Lattles turns. Bank. Yeah, which is great, but like here when you're constantly getting ejected out of your seat facing the other way. Yeah, because it's the dropping sensation backward is what is super duper cool. It's going side to side backward is less like 
yeah. wow, I guess. Uh, so that's why I prefer this one. And I would love to see, like, I know it'll never happen, but how cool would it be to have like a B&M hyper with a bathroom basin? Yeah. That'd be so fun. You know? Yeah. Don't they have that at uh, in uh, Universal over in Japan? They do have a backwards facing train. I did not get to do it because that is a two hour line, and I only had one day at the park, so I was not about to wait two hours for so one ride. To go back. All right, all right, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, honestly, more parks should do something like that. Even just one more row. Like, guys, you can charge extra for it. It's a money making experience, and the guests will love it. I don't know why we're back at this piece of garbage again, but here we are. Did you like this? So you liked it? Yes. This is gonna be the best ride in the park. I'm so excited. Like, look at that. Look at the track profiling. Ah, so good. It's rough, but it's still fun though. Like, it's intense. Like, watch that. Yeah, I feel those riders' pain. No, they're having fun. Yeah, those are screams of joy. A full year later and our buddies are still here. Still unbothered by this horrendous monstrosity above them. You go. Who else has a headache now? To be fair, I already had a headache. That solidified it. But it was still very fun though. I don't know, like, we sat in the front row last time, yeah? Yeah. The one ride we did. I think it was worse sitting up front. I think I would agree, but it's still not good. There's like this padding on your head, but it sits like low on my neck. And I don't know where, but I, like on one of the jolts, I just, my head like, oh. swung back and it didn't hit the padding, it just hit the plastic. Oh. I'm sure I heard it. I, no, like, I heard it. Like, that sounds so painful. Like, it was just a hard like hit, like, oh. Matt, you ran the Ride Forces app during the experience, so what are we looking at for G's? So we're looking at about 4.27 positive G's, but on the lateral side, like, geez, that's a lot. But like on the lateral, it's about like 1.6, 1.7, which is like... That's like wild mouse like, like level, yeah. High. But overall, I, okay, the layout of the ride, I really yeah. like the layout of the ride. If somebody else made it, I think it would be fantastic. And the ride itself is, I think it's smooth, just the trains are very, very shuffly. So that's where you get the, the head banging from. The trains don't feel like they're, lack of a better phrase, like holding onto the track as tight as they should be. I know it doesn't The sound profiling right. is also very janky. There's some points where like, you're transitioning from one element to the next and it's just like a, like like a quick, kink. Quick like snap. Yeah, yeah, like it clearly wasn't intended to be there. Yeah, but overall it wasn't as bad as I was expecting it to be, but still not great. We've made it to Osiris. I love this thing and we got new work walls. This wasn't uh, here last time. You, maybe, I don't know, but hey, th I think this is like one of the coolest plazas. Oh yeah, it looks amazing. Okay, you know what I mean, <laughs> like you're showing that, like show this. Oh, that. oh, it's beautiful. The details on this building is amazing. And after our visit last year, you guys were like, hey, this is based off of a scene from the show. And I went and I rewatched the scene so I could understand the reference and why this coaster is themed the way it is. By Osiris and by Apis, look at me, look. How'd you do all that with your eyes? <laughs> Silence. You have turned into a wild boar. Yes, a wild boar. Can you light one of them up at a time? Silence, I'm concentrating. <laughs> I love the theming in this station. It's absolutely stunning. There's a lot of funny details, like this one right here. This is a really nice station. And the plaza for this is beautiful. Way better than Montu's, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we all just did Osiris front row. So August, your first time, what do you think? Honestly, I think this is probably a top three b and inference for me. Like, it's a quirky <laughs> inference, but I love that. And the part where it's like the dive loop, the overbank, it's all like very intense. Yeah. It's overall like a great, great ride. It is. It's really, really well done. Jeremy, what do you think? 
I like that it's not a typical layout. It's one of like the newer inverts, but it's not drawn out like Banshee. Yeah. It has cool Everybody elements. Everybody always hating on Banshee. Oh. Always. I, do. <laughs> I like, like it's cool that it has like the straight bit after the loop and it gains speed into the Immelman. Like it has cool elements like that. And I was worried because I heard that when this was like the first invert built in Europe, modern invert, I guess, that the French Thuzies were going crazy and it actually deserves all the hype that it gets. And what invert would you most closely compare it to, you think? Great Bear. Why? Just because I think it's it's very tight on the layout, so it's intense. Um, the elements are not typical and it has weird turnarounds and whatnot, and I think that's you know, all right. like Great Bear. I respect it. And Matt, <laughs> and while we were filming this, he comes off from, because he just re-rode <laughs> yeah. the MGC. I mean, hey, yeah, I, yeah, I get I it. Like a go again and they said short. Do it. Um, I couldn't agree more. This is like one of the most unique inverts I've been on. And I also like it because it's intense, don't get me wrong, but it's not Batman where you can only ride it like once, twice, maybe three times, and then, then you're done. This ride is just a perfect amount of intensity where I feel like you can marathon it and not feel sick. Yeah. Um, and just the way the elements are laid out. Um, and there's no mid-course, which I always Love that there's no mid-course, yeah. definitely. Um, but the whole ride experience is just so fluid and it's, it's fun. It's a great what? Experience. I can't hear you over the sound of that thing. Look at that spike. That is really cool how it, it goes under the bridge and it's you can clearly see the ride. There's no like huge fences or anything. I really like that. It just, it's like, visually impressive. It is visually impressive. And like the sound it makes, it just, I don't know. It just gets Burr. Burr. Ooh. Sarah found her merch. That's nice. I'm a sucker for a good layout model. I like that. So I, I like thought that. this one was kind of cool. But then I moved the tag and I was like, I'm pretty sure that says glows at night. Oh my gosh. Brillet, br like brilliant. Like yeah. Lenore, I think that means a glow in the dark. dark shirt. Look at this pillow. That's so fun. When you're cuddling up at night, who doesn't want to cuddle up with this guy? Personally, this is more my speed. I'm probably going to be taking this one home. I like it. Oh, actually, it has a back to it. You know what? I don't hate that. That's fine. It's like a little bit of a design flaw. They don't. <laughs> As part of the Festival of Tutatis, we do have another ride here besides Tutatis, and that is a Zamperla Nebulas, which just looks fantastic in this area. Look at all this decor that they put around it. This is amazing. Well done, Park Asterix. Look at this. They have character meet and greets. That's so fun. I wish I knew their names. Give me a nod if you like Tutatis. <laughs> yes. It's a good, is it your favorite roller coaster in the park? Yes! How do you do you ride roller coasters like this? Yay! <laughs> oh, you're afraid of her. Oh. I don't I don't speak French, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yo, this man's running off with Sarah. Oh, she ain't happy. Yo, what is happening? They're like arguing over Sarah. What? Oh my god, I'm a homewrecker. <laughs> And just like that, we're heading out of Park Asterix. Like we said, it was only gonna be a half day today because we kinda got screwed with our flights. So we now have to go get our rental car, which is now an extra half hour to get there because of traffic with rush hour. Today was a great day. I'm definitely looking forward to coming back though. Like, we still have several more things we need to do. Mainly like re-rides, cause yeah, we, we just got them once on the main stuff, we definitely uh, missed I got out. Twice on Osiris, so well, you did, yeah, yeah but all right. The Some of the non roller coaster rides too. Like I definitely want to do like the uh, log flume. I, and I do too. I, I'm Blind not doing the log flume. Yes, I want to do the hydra. Blind carpet. I want to do the hydra not revenge next to that Zier bobsled thing. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, so they have a madhouse. The madhouse is fun. Yeah. That's a fun one. This was a preview day. Yeah. This was a taste <laughs> of what to expect. As we're walking to the car, you get great views of Pegasus. It just stretches all alongside the parking lot. It looks awesome. Oh, look at that girl's flower. I heard it's fun There's August and Jeremy's rental car. Very nice. Thanks for allowing us to take this so we don't have to spend $80 on an Uber. Pretty nice, it's like brand new, so we got it for like 12 days. 
If you're planning on renting a car in another country, be aware that the driver laws will vary. So we rented with Europe car and usually young driver fees are if you are under the age of 25. I am 25. With Europe car, it's a little weird. They say on their website that if you're under 25, there's a young driver fee. However, when I'm there in person, they're like, no, it's 25 or under, meaning you have to be at least 26 to not. And it's like sending mixed messages on the website. And so this rental car I just found out is now $400 more expensive than it should have been. So I don't know, that might be something we'll be talking to uh, them online about because I don't know, I'm definitely like, I was looking over the website and I was getting like two different signals being sent. And so, I don't know, definitely not ideal, but just be aware of that. All right, we made it to our Airbnb. Cute little location, like right here in the woods. You can see just like a small village over there. We're like five minutes from Park St. Paul, which we're going to tomorrow. Hey, open uh, up. What's the, um, how do you say? Password? A croissant. I'm uh, sorry, I do not understand. A croissant. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay. August, what is this? Is this the kitchen? Kitchen. Ooh. We are making a spaghetti. We're making oh, we're Italian. Pasta. Excellent, excellent. And this is the living area. Very nice. Table. Whoa! What we got a here? Nice patio with the yard. Hey, and it's like almost like 10 o'clock and it's love, still light out. I would love to eat out here actually. We should. We absolutely should. Yeah. Ooh, who's that? Date you and Amorty Sunbird. <laughs> wow, the first appearance in Ghost Through Europe Season 2, and he's already shirtless. <laughs> in the bedroom over here, this tiny staircase right here leading to the final bedroom. Look at this family dinner. Yay. It's a big load of pasta. For a big boy. <laughs> and it is actually pretty solid. It's probably like. A dollar a person? <laughs> I know, Yay. really cheap. Cheap budget we like. <laughs>